Woo! I feel it. That's good. Look, standing your Nobody's place. fucking playing with me anymore! That's right. Okay, now. <laughs> What up, it's Everk aka Malfi, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, bro. As you know, by the title, we're reacting to Bobby, I love you, Purr. But before we get into the video, I just want y'all to see, like, I got a new tattoo. I got my first two tattoos, like, on my face. But I wanted a tattoo that shows, you know? And I wanted some hood shit. Like, I wanted to feel like a hood nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, big gonna be talking with this hand a lot. Like, don't play with me. Yeah, definitely feel like a hood nigga. You know, I was gonna get another face pad, but on like above my eyebrow. But I felt like too much too early, you know? Like, now nah, I'm not gonna do that shit yet, you know? Mm, don't know about that one. Cause everybody keep giving me backlash. They keep be like, oh, why would you do that? Not your face, not your face. Cause I want to. Like, that's something that I want. Like, but you know, I see their points. And their points are valid so yeah not doing that secondly i already recorded this video i recorded this video before i got my tattoo and i feel like i'm just over it like and i don't even think it's my computer anymore like i think it's the hard drive i was using so yeah i'm gonna just stick to the new hard drive and just re-record this video i'm not gonna hold you i really don't remember what the fuck happened on the last episode like i watched my videos back and shit just to make sure you know that my shit given but i didn't re-watch the last episode before i turn on the camera and i don't know why i didn't do it but i don't feel like stopping to do that so yeah they're gonna recap me anyway on you know in the beginning of the show and i don't put that part in because i feel like that part is irrelevant so i'm gonna just get recap you know because y'all know what the fuck happened i really don't remember but i'm gonna get recap and then we're gonna be on the same page all i can say is jameson is my boy you know i already i remember saying that that nigga is the season i remember saying that you know how they gonna get rid of him and he's the fucking con and I still believe that. Like, that nigga has yet to show me otherwise. Like, Bobby has yet to show me otherwise. I'm looking forward to see what my boy got in store, episode four. And we're so behind. And I know that. We know that. So we just gonna stop bringing it up. But, but yeah, other than that, I feel like we can just dive into this video. Because, yeah, like, I don't remember what happened. And I feel like we ready, right? You slept me? Still walking up on me? Look. Just pray. Oh, yeah, we here with this bitch ass nigga. Fans got slapped the fuck up by Long John. Nigga got slapped the fuck up and did nothing for real. Are you here for Barbie? Yes, ma'am. No, it's the man. They be fucking me up with these pronouns. The next person. I think I know what you about to say. Mm -hmm. Tracks. Bitch, I'm behind as fuck because I heard it's only like six niggas left, four, six niggas left, right? I I'm not here for the drama. I'm here to introduce Bobby to my mama. You niggas can talk about, oh, he's fat, he's big, but you can't talk about my drip, because my drip is on fucking point. Face card never declined. Period, bar. Give me three push-ups. Fuck. <laughs> we can't. Uh, see, it's like you don't want to do no exercise. Uh, Why the fuck I need someone that's active, going to fit my lifestyle. I'm not saying you got to be skinny, man. Y'all dead the fuck wrong. See, here's the moment right now for you to show me some sort of effort. And if that means in the form of a motherfucking jumping jack or a motherfucking push-up, then so be it. Bitch, why the fuck he got to be the one to do them, though? Like, make them other niggas do some shit, too, though. Like, bitches just made him go up and down the stairs. You know what? If I see one more dating app profile on your phone, it's over for you. They killing me with this dating app shit. ding a ling a ling get down here. You look at me dead in my eyes, you know, that kind of, you know, does something to me. I'm gonna give you a chain. I really like ding -a -ling's energy, and I really feel like he's really got a thing for Bobby Lights. No, my friend Amanda said that that nigga was attractive. I'm not gonna sit here and come for you bitches that found him attractive, but it's like, I really don't see it. They so weak to where they what can the get fuck? easily maneuvered into getting snutted out, then that means that they're not here for you. That's not my problem. But the hand is not, not, not supposed to be in the house. My nurse never was in the house for nothing. He would never listen to the cast members' rooms for anything. Now, what is it gonna give? It's giving. Roll back. Yo. <laughs> Island boy and TBD step up, please. My decision right now is very clear. I'm gonna give it to TBD. Bitch, I'm not scared. I'm not scared because this nigga the season, so bye. I'm gonna give you one more shot, but you're gonna have to pay. 
I will. I knew it. We need an outro song. Tracks, hit it. Bobby, I love you. Bobby, I love you. It's the falsetto every fucking time for me. Like, nigga, show me some range, nigga. Show me some fucking range. Last night, I heard TBD was talking some shit about me, saying that Bobby so, ain't gonna pick wait, me wait, 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 how wait, wait, wait. white I Bro, am. Bro, let's bring him out here and you tell him to your face. What's poppin'? That's wait, what? What's going on? Oh. Okay, Mr. Never Cracker. Cause you cracked her. Huh? Bitch! <laughs> what is this? Work it, work it, work it! You getting worked out, Mal. Y'all, it was the way that nigga penguin spazzed on that nigga like that. Like, why you hit girly pop like that, bitch? She wasn't even fucking ready. And that shit was big given controlled environment because they was like, oh, talk that shit when he get here. That nigga was there. That nigga was there already. Like, ain't no way in hell. He just walked up in that moment. Like, bitch, he was waiting for his cue. That was his mark. And he, he, he came a little early. He came in a little early. Like, mm. What I want to know is why you got my name in your mouth. Because, because I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Period, Nas. Big Bird with his sparkly ass come out of nowhere with his fucking nail polish talking about... I know you not talking. I know you not calling the next nigga sparkly. Damn, Penguin! Oh, shit, and you back from the head, bro. You back from the head. I'm what, not gonna let this? someone what is who this? is talking about me just walk up on you me. Oh, I don't right. give a fuck Woo. about anyone in here but Bobby fucking White. That's right. That's who I'm here for, and he's commenting, you're not here for Bobby. He hears me talking about him and decides to walk out the fucking door to walk up on me. You're not gonna walk up on me, baby. You're not gonna walk up on him, baby. <laughs> this nigga's weird. I don't have gay friends. All right. Me I either. don't. I've been sexually assaulted. Me too. I've closed myself off to the gay community. This oh, is wow. my first Where is he going with this? Because it's like, why get this deep persuasion? Like, why did it have to go there? Do you feel like opening up about your sexual assault experience? Or don't get it, beat the fuck up. Is it triggering now. to the point where you can't speak about it anymore? Falsetto, don't get beat the fuck up. Woo, I feel it. That's good. Look, stand in your Nobody's room. fucking playing with me anymore. That's right. I'm playing now. Why is Falsetto playing with you right now? Like, you want to get beat the fuck up playing in my face, trying to joke around and be comical nigga for the cameras. You don't understand, like, how frustrating it makes me that somebody's talking behind my back. Then you need to grow the fuck up, because bitches talk behind backs. Bitch, your own family talks behind your back. So if you can't take it, how you really living? Y'all going to release some of that tissue. We're going to do a fun traditional game of chicken fight, but it's going to be called Unicorn. War. Pool right now. What's wrong with you? Why are you looking like that? Nothing. I'm good. I mean, I can't get in the pool, so. I'm saying, that's why he looking like that. Like, why are you playing with him? So I'm going up against Soul. Am I surprised? Not really, because everybody already thinks that we're fucking. So let's do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Within a blink of an eye, I'm underwater. Me, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I was underwater. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. I'm a Pisces. I love water. I'm a fish. No, but you a bird. Okay, so Bobby calls me and Cole got up. And I was kind of like, okay, that's a little boy. You know what I'm saying? He little. Somebody said that was a, the battle of the power bottles. Okay. Oh, wow. Technically, he lost. False at all. Tracks, this pool is literally four and a half feet deep. He's so fucking scary. I'm cooler because I'm like, hmm. He's like, eh, eh. Boom, I win. Oh my God, this nigga is so annoying. First of all, they got me going up against Hercules, big ass. Not big ass. Hold up. Wait. I'm trying to figure out why I'm the only cast member going against more than one person. I think it's- Why does nigga talk like this? Like, what the fuck? You lying. Why you lying? You chose everybody on this side. Who the fuck fuck you up with? No one. I am nervous. Cause you know my name is Go Hard and I went up against this white boy and I didn't go hard enough. Nigga, you never go hard. That's the fucking thing. Like, your name is Fetish. Welcome to Elimination Night. So tonight, three of you guys are going home. Are you guys ready? I get my chain again. 
Like taking candy from a baby. And I know Bobby tastes real sweet too. No, nigga. So corny ass. I have no more tears for these motherfuckers behind me. Yeah. Oh. I ain't crying for none of y'all oh. anymore if we thump, All right, bitch, we get your moment. Get your moment. Okay, Turn around. Get your... Right, James. Right, James. Let him know. I want to stay with you. I want to be with you. But I also have to do what I have to do and take care of. I have to take care of at home. Wait, so you want to go home? Excuse me, what? What? What, girly pop? Get out. OK. Damn, girly pop, it's like that? Fuck you. Whack ass bitch, that's a whack bitch move, bitch. I can't fuck with you, like. Oh, oh bitch. <laughs> he said hey, me. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all get murdered, y'all some hating ass motherfuckers. They not hating, it's like they tired of it too, but he ate it. And see, that's what I'm talking about, it's about the effort. You know what I'm saying? Why everybody running around like sex crazed pigs, a Yo. southern gentleman will always conduct himself. This nigga's fucking interviews, I enjoy them. I really do. Like he talks, he has a certain vibe and he talks very confidently and I just like him. Can you let us go hard? And then you didn't even go hard in the pool. You gotta go. You sure? You gotta go. I'm telling you about walk. I can't go turn around like the rest of them, but I'm not no. Oh, really? Oh, God, I'm not playing. I ain't playing. So leave. Tell Bobby how much you love him. Bobby, listen. Sing it, sing it, sing it. <laughs> I can't sing. I ain't try it. Try it. Try I'm it. a savage. You're not a savage, your fans. Bobby, I love you. And you, girl. <laughs> kind of confusing. He, he doing too much. Oh, he biting off you? He biting off you, track? Posetto said, no, don't do that. Miss Mamas. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say his name like that? I'm just trying to be realistic. Can I see myself with a feminine person just right. like me? No. Mind your business, DL. Nobody was fucking talking to you. I feel like you are a great person, but flat out, I feel like me and you really wouldn't be compatible just for the simple fact we are too much alike. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to eliminate you tonight. Come on, buddy. Yeah, it's time for you to go. This is stupid. This is dumb. Like, any man that motherfucking have to second guess me, bitch, you not my nigga. I'm sorry, you should never have to second guess something that you see and that you really want in life. Period, but he don't see overly want you, girl. So that's embarrassing. Calm that down. Okay, just yeah, go that way. I ain't going nowhere. You have Period. to. Go. I'm not going nowhere. No, he don't. <laughs> Period. Oh my God. Come on, Yo. back up. Oh my God. Back up, back up. <laughs> Yo, you just gonna let that nigga run you over? Guys, relax. You better get your motherfucking ass. Everybody relax. He ain't going nowhere, bitch. Like I said early in the video, bitch, I ain't scared. I'm yeah. boy, come back! <laughs> like we know. We know because that's the season. That's the boy. That's the it boy to fuck you talk about. That's my boy, fuck you talk about. I think Hercules really won though. Like some real shit. I feel like Hercules won because in his interviews he giving big yummy. And what I mean by that is if you watch one more chance, right? Yummy really told you that she won the season just off how she sat in her interviews. Me and Tice was like, oh that bitch won. And she did. Like no spoiler, but she did. Like so I feel like Hercules is giving off that big energy to not Hercules, Jameson. Nicole Gate, Hot Wheels, come up here. This is what I'm gonna do. I think that you, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna give you another chance. It's really right, right, baby. Thank you so much for coming out, and I appreciate you. Whatever. Throw the motherfucking wheelchair off. What'd you say? Are you that ass? Don't do that. Don't be a sore loser. Throw the motherfucking weird shit guy off. Don't do that, bitch. Don't do that. Don't make it that way. Come back, Hot Wheels. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give you this special chain. I promise you, I would have never seen it coming, but guess what? Me either, bitch. This elimination was a lot, once again, but I want to see who really, really can stand a chance at being my one true love. So I hope these guys know that another elimination is coming, another challenge is coming. Don't get too comfortable, fellas. The competition and the games have just hey. begun. Period, Bobby. And that's how you end that shit off. 
And on that note, bro, we're gonna end that shit right there because ain't shit else to watch. Bro, this is my favorite show. Like, like I enjoy watching it. I enjoy waiting for the new episodes every Sunday. And being that I'm behind, I have a lot of shows to like binge. And I'm really sad that I can't binge it because I be reacting to it. But but you know, that just means, you know, I gotta put the shit out more quickly. It's a lot, but we're gonna get through them. But bro, this episode was so like chill. Like nothing really happened. Nobody fought. You know, there was nothing like super crazy going on it was just good content like of course we saw the aftermath of long john slapping you know fans but that was just in the beginning and you know we already knew that that nigga fans ain't do shit it wasn't like no big fight no nothing like that so you know that really doesn't even count oh my god i'm bugging i forgot my boy fucking penguin slapped the fuck out of girly pop like he ain't even slap him that nigga was throwing punches like whoa like like soon as that nigga came on scene bitch it was pause on him like and then you know you know girly pop got some hits back you know my bitch did him up when it was like time to square up but then you know <laughs> penguin had to come back again and do him up again it was just like chill the fuck out Krishan. we get it like and then you got big birds trying to fucking sneak girly pop too like like that's why you got pushed in the bushes my nigga like we, then you needed three niggas to get you back up i fuck with you but that's what you get and then falsetto wanted to get his ass beat up trying to play with fucking penguin like that like like this to school definitely lose like my nigga talks in spaces he does that in real life like that's how he real life talk the way his actions are just weird like as if he's like a robot or a fake boy like he's pinocchio or some shit like he's not a real boy like i don't know something about him is full like but yeah falsetto definitely want to get his ass beat because i was like you know like this is not comedy stop trying to fucking make a joke nigga this not a joke you see i'm really pressed you over here trying to joke around and make shit comical don't get fucked up but yeah after that they just had a little you know water sports some you know challenge shit and then elimination so so that water sports shit was boring like i didn't write no notes down you know i didn't jot nothing down that i wanted to talk about i was just really watching the show and like reacting to it like raw like i wasn't pausing it or nothing like usually i pause it when i get big commentary i pause it and shit like that you know if i want to talk about something at the end i jot that shit down on a piece of paper or some shit like that but i really wasn't doing that this time i was just really like watching the show and that's my fault that we don't have nothing to talk about right now. I'm behind anyway. I feel like y'all already saw this shit. Y'all been saw this shit. On the next episode, I know Jocelyn gonna be on here. And that shit been for me. Like, I remember when they was promoting that shit. So it's like, I'm behind. Like. So that being said, we're gonna wrap this one up. If I miss anything that I wanted to talk about, that shit will come to me once I, you know, stop recording. I do want to say thank you so much for watching this video. As you know, I always say check out my sister shit. Don't forget. Link in the description. Also, the call tag is up there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, bro. That's it.